Shalom, Mabuhai, and welcome everyone. I want to talk about a book I read a number of years ago by A.W. Tozer called The Knowledge of the Holy. It was written in 1961 and it is a classic in Christian literature. In The Knowledge of the Holy, Tozer explores the different attributes of God, such as his goodness, his faithfulness, his justice, his mercy, his grace, and many others. And Tozer makes a very intriguing point. Tozer pointed out that God is always using all of his attributes in equal measure whenever he acts. In other words, it's not the case that, well, over here God is using his love, but then over here God is using his justice. No, it's not like that. God is always using his love and his justice and his mercy and all of his other attributes in equal measure all at the same time whenever God acts. Now, that doesn't mean that he uses them in the same measure every time he acts, just in equal measure. And, and let me explain that a little bit. For example, sometimes God will intervene and perform, let's call it a comparatively small miracle, okay? Maybe God helped you to not lose your temper when a coworker irritated you. Ever been in there? Me too. Now, at that time, God is still using all of his attributes in equal measure just a comparatively small measure of each. But then there are times when God performs a huge miracle. Maybe someone you know was miraculously healed of a very serious illness. Or maybe a relationship that was just non-existent just a few weeks ago suddenly gets restored. Well, God is still using all of his attributes in equal measure. His love, his justice, his mercy, and all of his other attributes. And he's just using them all in a big measure. So whenever we see God act, we are witnessing all of God's attributes in action. Even if some of them are kind of hard to see sometimes. Well, Tozer goes on to say that we see all of God's attributes on their fullest display at the cross. This is where God's love for us is shown the most. When God gave us, as Pastor Chip Ingram often says, God gave us what we needed the most when we deserved it the least at great personal cost to himself. The cross is also the greatest example of God's faithfulness, because when the human race was in total rebellion against God, God was still looking out for us, when he had every right to turn his back on us and just wash his hands of the whole situation. But it's also where God's justice is made the most plain, God loves us, yes, but he hates our sin. And while God is merciful, yes, he cannot let sin go unpunished. God is just. I hate to break it to you folks, but God is not Santa Claus. On the cross, the price of sin was paid. Jesus became sin on the cross, and he took the brutal, painful punishment that we deserved. So if you'd like to know more about all of this, go and pick up a copy of The Knowledge of the Holy. Heck, your local pastor probably has a copy he'll loan you. I mean, it's a brief book, it's thin, but it's deep. So get it today. And thank me tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. God bless you.